even the dogs is finding love out here. You like You look good. <laughs> you look good too. What's your name? What's your Hello. number? Let me smell that ass. Isabel. Mm. Where you from, Isabel? I like that fluffy butt. You like it? I've been working on my squats. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this our life? Here I come. I'm in Mexico. This coconut water, bussing, bussing. I made it. I'm here. A story I keep. Black skin. I was originally supposed to be coming out with a friend, and she wasn't able to make it at the time that we were originally planning to come out here. So I had to make it happen on my own, and it's crazy because. I had a feeling intuitively that I was going to be coming here by myself. It, it hit different when you travel into a different country. When you get to Mexico, like you're the foreigner. <laughs> like, so just walking around, everybody looking at you, everybody just, just being intrigued by who you are. It started out really, really rough. Woo, I'm tired. So I just got to the Airbnb. I'm tired and I'm so hungry. I need to find some food because I, I had a smoothie bowl this morning at 3 a.m. I'm just beat, okay? And I don't know what time it get dark here, so I'm about to hurry up. Um, I think somebody said they do Uber Eats. So, I'm going to see what happens. See if there's a little spot around here I can get some fruit or a salad or something from because I need to fill my body up. I is tired. I'm so tired. But I'm good. I'm safe, I made it, I'm here, I'm happy to be alive. We doing the damn thing. We is doing it, we in Mexico. We made it to Mexico. My friend said yesterday I was just complaining about not being able to fit everything in my luggage. And now I'm here. You know, we won't worry over here, we don't gotta worry about nothing. Things just flow. They flow, flow. Get my behind out of here. First night in Mexico was rough. Um, it's emotional. Luckily, I had my friend that talked me through it, but it was, I was, it was tears flowing. You know, I miss my parents already, but I'm feeling better today. After I ate yesterday, I felt a little better. Um, I ended up falling asleep with one eye open because when you're in a new space, you know, first two to three weeks it was rough. Um, just adjusting like diet wise, I was vegan or I still am vegan, but it was just, it was just too much going on. It was like, I traveled here and I didn't, of course you don't have food when you first get here. I'm looking for like all this stuff. I don't know what's going on. I'm so hungry and the stove is not working. I do not recommend this Airbnb at all. I just walked for 40 minutes. Like 76 blocks, I'm hot as I'm hungry. I had watermelon and a banana all day. And the stove ain't working and I just bought groceries. Like, unacceptable. Welcome home. <sighs> this is great. I'm waiting to hear back from the Airbnb person. It's not looking too good. I smashed my banana on the way here by accident. Like, I got no pesos left. I gotta go to the bank. 
dude is all over the place. This fan is loud. Yeah. <laughs> Help me. The life of an expat. You can't find an apartment. It's like, I'm a found one. I'm a found one. I'm manifesting land. Weary. All this stuff. I know that I was meant to be here. Like, in just dodging the winter because the winter just sucked everything out of me like it was cold it was always cold my skin was dry like I hate the rain I hate the snow I don't like the hustle and bustle of the city never did that's why I was living in the in the countryside well not the country but in the boondocks but I stayed with my parents for a little bit for like a couple months before I left because my lease ended and it was just it was cool to bond with them and had that time but hey 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 I, I, this is my last day hey hey this is my last day I'm leaving tomorrow for Mexico so excited so excited so excited it's That cold weather, like, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. So coming from the cold to coming to the sun, I, my skin is glowing. My hair is growing. I just be sitting here like, I really made it out here. I said I was coming, and I made it out the same nine months later. I'm like, what? Who am I? Who am I? Bruh. And the universe was like conspiring these ways for me to get here. Like everything lined up so perfectly. It was like a, a mother effing movie. It was like a movie and it was, it's just so surreal. Like when I first got here, especially the first week, I kept thinking to myself, I'm really in Mexico. <laughs> like I'm really in Mexico by myself. I did it. And this is just the first, this is just the beginning. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I got plans. I got major plans for myself, and I know that this world is such a huge world, it's such a big place, and I'm gonna experience. I'm gonna make sure I experience every bit of it. And I love like my family coming out here to visit me. My my girlfriend from back home, she came to visit me for the new year. We had a good time, just catching up. She brought me all this stuff from the states that I needed from my parents' house that I was storing. She brought me some seasonings because I couldn't find the seasonings that I wanted that was in the States here. Like, she really hooked me up and I appreciate her. Shout out to her. Hola, como estas? Your line going to get better? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. We don't have haters in Mexico. Happy New Year. <laughs> It looks like a black lady. She yelled from the window, Happy New Year. Really? Yeah. So anyway, this is the second day since Latasha has arrived. <laughs> That's it. Bye. But just her visiting, my family planning to visit, my grandma, she's going to come, like my mom. I'm just happy to be in this space where I can just live my life freely and authentically and do the things that I want to do and allow others around me, family, friends, just the people that I love to experience this with me. They might have never just traveled to Mexico, but since I'm here, like they're coming to be with me and to experience Mexico too. And that's just, that's a great feeling, man just inspiring people through your action and through doing what it is that you feel called to do. Like, I feel great. I feel good. I knew that I would now. I posted this, this post that said, right in this moment, think back to that time when you wanted what you had. I'm the worst at relaying quotes, but think of what you, let me just read the damn quote. Don't forget how badly you once wanted 
what you have now. Blessings are always coming to us. And I'm like, bruh, I remember. I remember how bad I wanted to be out in Mexico when I was at my apartment in, in Exton. And now I'm here. Like, this, like my life keep rolling. Whether whoever I make plans with is ready to go or not, I got to keep it moving. Keep it moving. And that was a... That was a hard lesson, but at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. You know, I'm thriving, I'm shining, I'm shining that light, and I'm just so grateful. So, 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 so grateful to be here. If y'all got any questions, um, comment on this video. If y'all considering moving out the country, let me know where, let me know any concerns that you got. I just want to make this a safe space, a community. If you crave that freedom and you, you know, this piqued your interest, shoot me a comment. We could bust it up, have a conversation. I just need people to be free, especially, especially my black women. I need us to really go after that freedom that we crave because give us us free. Like, it's due. It's due plus tax. So just breaking up with the U.S. and all that stress and hard work culture and toxicity and, like, all that is not for me. So if that ain't for you either, let's be friends because you got to get up out of there. Get out of there. I be trying to recruit people. Like, if you think that you want to do it, you should do it for sure. My name is Mo, and... I just moved to Mexico. I moved to Mexico December 12th of 2022. And I'm I'm loving it so far. It was rough. It was rocky at first. But we doing it. We doing it well. All right, y'all. I'm about to uh, figure out what I'm eating. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Bye.